Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the coordination polymerization, which is also known as Ziegler Nutta polymerization. Especially, this Ziegler Nutta polymerization is highly useful for the synthesis of stereoregular polymers. Stereoregular polymers means we are going to obtain the polymers with specific configuration that means they may have isotactic or syndiotactic configuration isotactic means always the substituents are present on the same side of the main chain syndiotactic means the substituents are arranged in alternative fashion so the importance of coordination polymerization is to synthesize stereo specific polymers it is somewhat like addition polymerization which is taking place in the presence of a catalyst here the catalyst is a mixture of titanium tetrahalide and trialkyl aluminium here titanium tetrachloride will act as a catalyst whereas trialkyl aluminium will act as the co-catalyst during the polymerization process initially the catalyst rearranges itself which results in the formation of an electron deficient bridge like structure and here the monomers will attack and results in the formation of isotactic or syndiotactic polymers so always coordination polymerization takes place in the presence of a catalyst let us consider the formation of polypropylene polypropylene can be obtained by the coordination polymerization of propylene the structure of propylene is ch2 double bond ch ch3 which acts as the monomer in the presence of titanium trichloride and trialkyl aluminium at 50 degree centigrade these propylene monomers undergo polymerization and results in the formation of polypropylene so while writing the structure of polypropylene you just break the double bond and you just add the extension at the ends and results in the formation of isotactic polymer Coordination polymerization is highly useful for the preparation of isotactic and syndiotactic polymers. Especially, this polymerization is useful for the preparation of copolymers which acts as excellent elastomers. In particular, it can be used for the preparation of cis 14 polyisoprene which is having structural similarity to that of natural rubber so it is possible to prepare synthetic rubbers and finally it is also possible to prepare linear rigid high density high tensile strength hard and tough isotactic polymers if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day